So the panel confirmed talent Kevin Conroy. We already know who that is. We don't we already know who that is. The voice of the goddamn Batman. I'm gonna try not to fan out going to that one. This is the big one here, Kevin Conway. Red Dreaded Nation, this is Holly Quinn saying you better tune in or we'll bust your neck open. Red Dreaded Nation, what is up? It is your boy Akasun here. We're behind the scenes right now with a bunch of different reporters. Uh, we got a few executive producers and the cast of the animated series. And your boy is going to interview him. It's going to be Batastic. Let's go. Red Dread Entertainment, what is up? My name is Akasun. I'm here with the legendary Kevin Conroy. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, definitely big fan as well. Thank so, you. So, um, 26 years, 27. 27. 27 years of Batman, the animated series. But I don't feel old. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has this series just transcended time? I mean, we've had a lot of other anim animation has changed. The media has changed. How has this series stayed relevant and why? Why is that? The Batman character, his drama, his 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 journey, his mission in life resonates with people. They love him. There's an authenticity to him. Because he's 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 damaged. He's a damaged man. He's a man with issues and no superpowers. But he's trying he instead of letting life crush him. He's trying to save the world. He's taking that pain and he, he, he uses it to transform him into this vehicle of good, Batman. Absolutely. Absolutely. And people love that about him. They right. relate to him because everyone has issues in their life. Everyone has drama in their life. No one has an easy time. Right. And they love the fact that he's challenged by life and doesn't let it crush him. Right. And you, I, I would say that definitely stands true for the Batman character. But a lot of people have really said that uh, y yourself, this series has really been like the definitive meaning of the entire Batman mythos. Why do you think that is with this series compared to, you know, what was going on with the DCEU or any other sort of incarnation of Batman? People have always kind of come back to this series as it being the one. I think the reason this stands out as the definitive series is because of probably Bruce Timm and Eric Radomski, um, the creative team. Um, they had such a strong vision um, and they are exacting. Um, they got the best actors they could together. They got a full symphony score. Right. Um, they have, it's all hand painted. Right. The idea of painting on a black backdrop. Yes. The fact of going for that noir quality, going for darkness, um, that all played against what the instincts were from the studio. Right. And they, in, in a way, they were kind of just throwing money at the show. <laughs> they were spending a lot of money. <laughs> they were, yeah. And I'm sure that didn't go over big, you know? Nope. But it's why it's lasted so long and why it still looks so fresh. Because it's you can see the quality. Yes. Yes. It just Absolutely. screams at you when you look at these things. Absolutely. I think that's one of the reasons it looks so fresh to this day. Yeah. For, uh, I know you've already said in previous interviews that uh, Perchance to Dream is your favorite episode yeah. of the entire series. Why is that? Because the fun thing about playing the character is he has no superpowers. He's a man who's damaged. And the way he deals with that childhood trauma is he transforms himself into this vigilante, basically. Yeah. Anything that goes into that psychology, I find fun to play. You know, just as an actor. And perchance to dream, that's all that it's about, is about what 
how he evolved from his childhood. Absolutely, Matt. Well, I definitely appreciate it. If there's any role that you wanted outside of Batman, is there anything you haven't done that you would love to still get into? I know you studied at Julian's and doing uh, stage stuff. Anything you would like to do? Well, I am doing a new show for uh, Nickelodeon. It hasn't been announced yet, but it's a total departure from Batman. It's a, it's a crazy villain. All right. Which is a blast to play, but it hasn't been announced yet. We'll definitely have to check it out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Make sure you guys check out Batman, the animated series on Blu-ray, coming out October 30th. Happy Halloween, indeed. Oh, my God. I love it.